What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 2K here. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. So y'all saw the intro, right? Man, these motherfuckers got 2K looking like a casual out in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Word up, yo. Man, I'm back on it again. I'm here with my man Wilson, a.k.a. Willie the Kid from Brooklyn. What's good, fam? What's going on, fam? How you feeling? How you feeling tonight, man? Man, you already know how I'm feeling, man. I <laughs> I just went four and three in the goddamn pick 'em tournament and shit. You got these UK niggas out here losing easy fights, getting knocked out. Got motherfucking Erickson Lubin walking the ring, getting knocked out in the first round. Look like Simon Brown and shit. And you got Austin Trout over there quitting. Matter of fact, let's just start with Austin Trout. You know what I'm saying? I got a rant waiting inside of me. So I'm going to let my man Willie the Kid take this one, man, first. How'd you see that Austin Trout, fam? Break it down. Give me your analysis. I was I was watching the fight a little closer. So, like, I, I think going into the fight, one of the things that kept going on my head this week was Trout's inactivity. And Word. I just kept thinking, like, at his age, 17 months off, what does he have? Like, so then as the fight developed, it was like you could say, "Oh, he's doing well." Like, he did well. Like the first, I gave, I uh, heard the third round, but Word. before that, he took the first, the second, then the fourth, the fifth, and so on. But as I'm watching the fight, like you know, even in the second, third round, I'm like, "Yo, he's moving around a lot. He's moving around a lot." All right. That's on in the back of my head, so I'm thinking, like, he going to get tired. So yeah. About the second half of the fight, he just swung in her favor. He just came straight forward as he was doing all fight long, except this time, Trout just didn't simply have the energy to get the hell out the fucking way. So, you know, like, the step apart wasn't quite there anymore. And I think by the eighth round, I've seen him throw like a jab and almost fall over. Yep. That's <laughs> oh, exactly shit. when it was. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is over. Yeah. And it was just a matter of time. I mean, I wasn't impressed with Hurt at all. Is You know, I think uh, he has a lot to work on. He was crossing his feet. His footwork was horrible. Um, he wasn't cutting off the ring. That fight could probably been over a whole lot quicker. Yep. Uh, they stopped it in the corner. Uh, but uh, Trout really didn't give much of a fight before that. Like you know, some fighters be like, "No, nah, no, nah, don't stop it. Let me, let me go. Let me go. I could go. I could go." And there was none of that. He wasn't doing so, that. Nope. So it was like I don't know, man. He just seemed like that's it for him. Like he, he looked like he, like I, the fight could have went to distance, but I think he probably might have been stopped. So I guess he decided to take the easy way out. Yeah. You know, that probably was in the back of his head, like, man, shit, man, my legs are gone, I'm tired as fuck, this nigga keeps coming at me, you know, uh, shout out to my man Corey, man, we got a new nickname for Jared Hurd, it's called the Relentless Punching Bag, that's what the fuck he is, nigga, <laughs> nigga, keep coming forward, getting hit with all sorts of shots, fucking uh, uh, Antonio Margarito 2.0, without the loaded gloves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, Trout really, he didn't have the stamina like my man Wilson said. He didn't have the stamina. And then I'll add he didn't have the legs to, to keep up the mm -hmm. work, even though he only has six minutes. But here go the, here go my shit. <laughs> Yo, I, and I just finished talking to my man about this, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a nigga that's cut from a different cloth, you know what I mean? Um... We don't quit. We don't quit where I'm from. And niggas like me don't fucking quit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, boxing is a brutal sport. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is a sport where when you walk into that gym, no matter how old you are, you know, four years old, eight years old, 15 years old, or you start late in boxing, they all tell you the same shit, okay? This is a brutal sport. It's a sport where anything can happen. And you're liable to get injured if you uh, uh, choose to participate in this sport. If you choose to compete with some of the best around the world, you can get hurt and it can be fatal. Okay? When you're told this 
and you still choose to continue, well, then it is expected of you to go out on your fucking shield. You know what I'm saying? There is no quitting, and there should not be quitting allowed. Now, niggas is going to be like, man, motherfucker 2K got a cold heart. You know what I'm saying? He was going to get knocked out anyway. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, man, I'm like Ivan Drago on this bitch. If he dies, he dies, nigga. <laughs> Straight up. This is boxing, fam. You know what I'm saying? I know. This is my thing, Wilson. The nigga has six minutes, B. Six minutes. Now, like... Like, if he was cut badly or had an injury or something, yeah, I, I can understand it. But he was just tired. He just tired. Like, he was getting hurt. He was getting hurt, but he was getting hurt more out of being tired than yeah. he was from the punches. And, so and, and I just told he my checked man, out. And I just, exactly. I just told my man Andrew, because, shout out to my man Andrew, this nigga is over here, you know, talking about Jared Hur going to beat Arislandi Lara just based on how he walked down Austin Trout. I'm like, bro, Laura will tear... Jared Hurd, a new motherfucking asshole. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how this Terrell Gosha fight look, and we're going to get to that in a minute. Regardless of that, oh, God. the fact that <laughs> Arislandi Laura can do everything Austin Trout just did for fucking eight rounds. Eight straight rounds. He could do everything Austin Trout did, but two to four times better without getting tired. You telling me Jared Hurd going to beat this nigga? Man, Austin Trout was knocked out. Because he got tired of whooping Jared Hurd's ass. <laughs> yeah. That's that was that's the bottom line. The nigga knocked right. himself out from whooping his ass. Go ahead, dog. Are you scoring it? Yeah, I got it right here. I gave. I had it five one. I, by going into the, I guess I, halfway through the fight, I had it five rounds to one. I, had I, I know some people had it six nothing, so I can understand that. I had no my bad. I had it four two. I had it four two. Uh, I think I gave the fifth to uh, Heard, but Man. after that, it, it was just pretty much all all like Heard. So, yeah. Well, at the end of the fight, I had a six four. Well, at six rounds, I had a six zero. I'm one of them people. Now, what you said earlier, you gave uh her round three. That's possible because I I was actually kind of like, damn, what do I do? But I felt that Austin Shaw had a better work rate than Jared Heard in that third round, so I went ahead and gave it to Trout. But uh, I'll be honest with you, he did, and I just felt. Him. Because he looked at that bad. So I yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But throughout the fight, for the whole 10 rounds, man, I had a 7-3. to three. And it was, uh, oh, wow. yeah, it was uh, Jared Hurd that was when, you know, I gave him the last two rounds, obviously. You know, and I gave him the uh, seventh round. And I could have gave uh, Hurd the eighth round. But, I, again, just like the third round, it was close. But I felt Austin Shaw had a better work rate. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It could be like tomorrow we look at the judges' scorecards when they, they release them, and we could probably see, like, three different scores from three different well, see, judges because it was that kind of fight. My man's uh, told me that they the had... At it was clear cut. My, I haven't seen the scorecard, so... Well, my man's told me. I don't, I don't... I didn't see where he saw him at or nothing like that, but he told me that the judges had uh, Jared Hurd up two points uh, at the that time. That was uh, Farhood. Okay, that was Farhood. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that yeah, nigga said I, judges. I, I, I'm gonna have to slap that nigga that's, for that. <laughs> yeah, that, that. That's when um I didn't like my scorecard because he matched his, and I was like, wait. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell but, yeah. Yeah, he he checked out, man. I don't know what's next for him. He he did have a good, you know, half a fight. I guess you could say that. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe it was the long layoff. Maybe I don't know, but yeah. He I mean, kind of, like, sat on his stool. He quit on his stool, basically. That's what we call it. It is what it is. That's but, what happens. It's boxing. His trainer built him out, and, you know, and that's that. And th and this and this really goes into what we talked about before. Uh, me and you had a discussion about trainers. And I was thinking about that discussion at the end of the 10th round when uh, Trout was going back to his corner. I was like, now, this is where I was telling my wife, who was half asleep, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, this is where... This is where the trainer needs to get in his motherfucking up. ass. You know what I'm saying? Get in his motherfucking face. Teddy Atlas, Michael Moore style. And if the nigga don't nah, respond, you slap he, shit he, out of him. He, he, <laughs> he need a steward, man. He need a steward in that corner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause 
you know, he needed that kind of speech like that. I'm going to curse you the fuck out. What the fuck are you doing? Right. That's Get what I'm saying. His ass. Right. The fuck if you're tired. Go exactly. You to do. He Get needed he done. needed what Virgil Hunter did to Andre Ward in the first Kovalev fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He needed that. Yeah. And then on top of that, you know, shout out to my man, Sess, my ex-co-host. He made a mention uh, that they weren't properly tending to his eye. And I noticed it, but I didn't really care too much about it. But he's right. It's it's a big deal. They were using ice packs. They didn't have the end swell on hand. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. And then what I'm... The fuck? And then I'm you, looking... You, Go ahead. That, that, that would have helped them probably... Because that eye was getting swollen by that brown. Yeah. That shit was that half closed. That helped them a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, keep that swelling somewhat down, even though he kept getting hit on it. Because he couldn't fucking move anymore because he had no legs. Yep. But exactly you know, that 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 would have probably helped him a little more. But yeah. I, I like I get I guess it goes to the part where the cats are too loyal to their corners and sometimes you should let a team go once you transition to a different phase in your career because maybe like I think I told you like tra- Saren trainers are only going to take you but so far. Right. Right. You know, <clears throat> I mean, my main my so, main thing was this: the reason why I didn't really paid too much attention to the ice pack was I was waiting on his trainer to massage his legs because his legs were clearly gone. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he could have, yeah, they could have been, they looked as if they were stiff as fuck in there. That's why yeah. the niggas falling all over the place. And he did not one time massage his legs. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know, man, but just the body language Going into the eleventh round, you know, a lot of people are like, "Well, the doctor stopped it." The doctor stopped it because Austin Shaw had the body language of a fighter that was beaten, that didn't want to continue. You know what I'm saying? Well, were, were you watching the Showtime feed or were you? No, nah, I was watching. Uh, uh, I was watching uh, Sky Sports. All right, so on the Showtime feed, the doctor didn't stop it. The trainer kept telling the doctor, "I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it." You yeah, I heard stop that. It. Let's stop it. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. So the doctor just kind of like relate that to the ref. So technically, his corner stopped it. Yeah, like he, while the trainer said it, had to say it like five, six times, maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it was three or four times who knows, but he said it quite a few times. That's the whole point. And yeah. Trout didn't react to him. He didn't like, react he didn't until react. they finally stopped it. And um, that's how I look at it because I, I mean, I, I can't sit here and defend the man and be like, well, yeah. Because me personally, if I get that opportunity at the age that he's at or whatever and whatnot, at the tw- at the point where he's out in his career, man, uh, you're going to have to just put me to sleep. You got to muster it, fam, because this is your last chance. And I was telling my boy, I was like, I don't know if this motherfucker thought, you know, well, Al Heyman's going to give me another shot. Or, you know, while he was sitting on the stool, he's like, man, I can't do it no more. I'm done with the sport. I hope it's the latter. Or... I hope it's the latter, oh, fam. You might be right, but it could also be, well, that's his new role now. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and sometimes some guys become stepping stones, man. And he might just very well be a step, stepping stone. I think I think he did a horrible job. Uh, his promotion did a horrible job with him. Like, when he beat Cotto, they never capitalized on that. And to be honest with you, he, he doesn't have a friend for Fan friendly style anyway, so no, it doesn't. Maybe that had to do. Maybe that had to do something with it, but I just maybe it's time to hang him up. I agree. When you quit like you that, know. it's over. I, t- I said Tony Harrison should should have retired, which he did, and he's actually fighting. Either he already fought or a fight is coming up for him. I can't remember, but either way, he didn't quit uh, or he didn't retire. And I and I got the same uh, advice for Austin Trout, man. If I see you in there, and I mean it, it's just. It pisses me off, dog, because you're winning the fight. You know what I'm saying? You're winning the fight. And you quit when you have two rounds to go, bro. I was telling this one dude, I said, yo, it's a different story when there is no end near. You know what I'm saying? But if I can see light at the end of the tunnel, the type of nigga that I am, I'm about to fight until I get to that motherfucking light. You know what I'm saying? Austin Trout was literally one-fourth of a mile away from the fucking end of the tunnel, B. One-fourth of a mile, and the nigga quit. Even, even if you lose, 
I would have said, damn, he got it out, though. And he exactly. Himself. You know so, what? You know what? It's like this. It's like this, Wilson. Even if he lost, right, a decision, we still would have been like, dog, but Austin Trout is a dog. I, he yeah, still he got my respect. Out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I, I was know. laughing, though, when that happened. Like, I'm just sitting there laughing, though, like, right? I I couldn't stop thinking about our conversation while I was talking about how I hate calm trainers. <laughs> I hate No, but see, <laughs> we were talking about see you were talking about calm trainers. I was talking about they could be crazy and wild no doubt. in the in the corner. They could they have to be that way. Like the your trainer has to have the same hunger you got. No doubt. And he has to feel your pain. So you yep. have to motivate your ass to get in there and kick some motherfucking ass. Yep. I'm talking about I hate trainers. To be all up in the media in front of the cameras talking shit because ain't nobody there to see them. Oh, yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. You know, tell your fighter what you got to tell him in private or in the corner. Don't go in front of the microphone and say because obviously you fucked up too somewhere because he ain't listening to you. Yeah. So, 100. So that's how I feel about that. But this time, like, I don't know what happened in there, man, but. I mean, I know what happened. We all know what happened. He just ran out of gas, man. He was done. I was just like, yeah. okay, it's only a matter of time. Once I saw him throw that jab and almost like fucking tipped over his own feet and fall through the ropes, I'm like, oh, he's going to bend or hack him to himself. Like, he, was, <laughs> he was just going to jump out the motherfucking ring, man, or something. I don't know, man. He just started stumbling on his own feet. Like, he was yeah. done. He, and he couldn't move out the way, man. Hell yeah. So once he got to that rope, he was staying there for a little bit. And, you know, when he threw, he landed. That's for sure. Because the other guy doesn't know how to fucking duck either. But yeah. He don't, I don't know, man. If he had a, maybe if he would have sat down a little bit more in the beginning, earlier part of the fight, that fight might have turned out differently because he was moving off a lot. So he wasn't really truly, like, sitting, sitting on his punches and putting his all into it. Mm-hmm. Not a big puncher, but... Uh, strangest things can happen. Maybe he would have worn him down a little more. He did get hit with a few body shots there. Yeah, he, he did. He was w- clearly winning, and that might have had something to do with it too. So yeah. I, I, but but the ending, I, I was like kind of disappointed because it was a good fight. It was a great fight. Up, it was up until up until the end. So yep. that disappointed me, man. Like I told you, I should I had egg rage, nigga. I was throwing shit. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> my kids, my wife, everybody woke up and shit. <laughs> that shit pissed me off, B. I, I, I just okay sleeping on the couch tonight. I'm telling you, man. I, <laughs> I can't stand quitters, man. I can't stand quitters, bro. No matter the circumstance, especially when this is your last hoorah, man. Unless you're talking about hanging them up, I can never respect you after that. But let's 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 shift gears a little bit. So, this is the second fight in a row. Where Jared Hurd was getting his ass beat 90% of the fight. And his opponent decided to bow out of the matchup. Um, after retaining the IBF title, he has called out Eris Landi Lara. Uh, of course, uh, Jamel Charlo, after knocking out Erickson Lubin, which we're getting ready to get into next. After retaining his WBC title, he you know, uh, uh, vehemently called out Jared Hurd. That's who the fuck he wants. What do you think about that fight, fam? And it, it, can Jared Hurd, can Jared Hurd <laughs> follow this trend of getting his ass whooped for eight rounds and then break down his opponent for the last two in order to get the KO? Can he continue this trend against the other elite fighters at 154? No. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. No, nah, straight up forward, like, no, um, we can't keep winning this way. Uh, eventually, like I said, the competition gets better and better. Uh, I think uh, I don't think he sees the end if he fights Charlo. Man, um, I don't know, fam. I don't think so. Her just I mean, seems he got like a hell of a chin, man. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. He takes but, shots well. But, yeah, but I mean, can he take an cumulative amount of punches, like a lot of punches, because? He's going to get hit with some shit, man. Word up. Well, I mean, and, shit. Uh, Look at how many shots Trout was hitting his ass too. with. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and Harrison. Harder. But see, so, Har- Harrison got power, though, fam. Tony Harrison got power. Yeah. He was fucking him up. 
Yeah. So I don't know. And and it's gonna be an interesting fight. I just think it I think uh the difference is Charlo, I don't see Charlo getting tired. No, he won't. And and I don't I don't see his conditioning coming into uh and I just think the level of uh boxing skills when you talk about footwork and any of that, I think I, I think uh Charlo is just way ahead. Yeah. And yeah. um I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. I think uh I got to go with um, Charlo right now. I mean, anything can happen between now and then, but right now at the top, I would take Charlo. No doubt. No doubt. One thing about her that I mentioned in my prediction video was that he doesn't have the uh, amateur pedigree as the other top fighters at 154. His actual uh, amateur career, man, he had marginal success, and it wasn't as robust as the other ones. I think he only had like 45 amateur fights. Yeah, so, you know, he... He shows that he doesn't have the amateur experience and pedigree in his fights. Um, and I, I think at the Man, end of the day, that's... Fight team. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think at the end of the day, that's going to pay dividends uh, when he fights smarter fighters. R- remember, he fought Tony Harrison, who had already got outclassed uh, by Willie Nelson. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but, but what was the knock on, on, on Harrison? They, Harrison, Harrison you know, doesn't have the you know, mental... He don't have a mental right. fortitude. That's his and problem. He's gonna give you a tough six rounds, and then yeah. after that, it's over. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So, and so basically, we've seen a pattern where he gets tired in the second half of the fight. Yep. Tonight, Trout got tired in the second half of the fight. Exactly. So, what the fuck happens when you're fighting somebody in there that they could give it to you just as much as you could give it to them? Yeah. But actually ducks and makes you miss and, and keeps punching you and punching you and punching you yep. and they don't get tired. So yep. like that's a formula that's a recipe for fucking disaster, man. I mean he's twenty he like he like a little wilder, like Deontay Wilder, like this like no technique, man. Like uh he's very awkward, I guess you could call it that. I'm being kind, but right. uh he just keeps coming forward, doesn't cut off the ring. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of shit, man. That, like, me personally, I'll be watching this shit and I'll be like, "Yo, what are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, you got a, you got a five inch reach advantage, right? Uh, if you throw a jab from a distance, you know, like you could probably follow that up with the straight and win the fight on a straight one two all fucking night. That's why I say Laura beats him, cause that's what Laura does. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Laura's gonna move all around the ring, not get tired, and one two this nigga to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, That's what he's gonna have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move you into know? let's move into uh probably <laughs> You know what man? I'm so pissed <laughs> off. Nigga Wilson, dog nigga, I had I want my credit. <laughs> <laughs> I want <his> shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so Wilson said, my man said that Lubin was going to get knocked out. And I was on his ass like, nigga, what nigga? Nigga, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, nigga. Blah, 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 blah. He called they it. They had me second guessing myself. Yeah. <laughs> he called it. He called it. He was too green. He was too young. Hey, can I say, can I say why? <laughs> Go ahead. He was. It's not that he's a bad fighter. I like the kid, but like I, I, I'm different, man. Like when I watch a fight, I see a lot of things that I catch, like the form, and then I'm like, and I look for the things they do right. Like I was telling, um, I think it was um, somebody in the group using on that chat, and I was telling them like, you know, ever since um, Charlo got with Derek James, I feel like he's become. Like a more of a power puncher, like he sits on his punches more. He doesn't move as much. Right. Uh, he he's becoming a better boxer. He goes to the body better, um, and he just seems to have more pop. I mean, I think he's just sitting on his punches. Um, he's boxing a little better too. And there's some things he does wrong. You didn't get to see that because the fight wasn't long enough. Uh, and then you look at a, a Lubin, and you know he's great, but. He still got a lot to learn. 
And oh, I yeah. just like I just told y'all like when this fight was announced, I was like, yo, I just don't feel like the cat is ready yet. And like, that was just a simple fact that they they try they that fight should have happened around this time next year. Good point. And he should have fought somebody and, like J Rock first, in my opinion. Right. You move him up slowly because like you you going from Coda to this. Yeah. Like. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Like, come on, man. Like, that wasn't fair to him. I thought that was a poor matchmaking right there. Like, they should have, like, uh, listen, I know he was the man, though, but they should have been like, when, not yet. You know, not whatever, yet. like, pass up on it or something like that. He give wasn't me, just clearly ready. Or give me at he, least. He could have been there with her, man. Just give me at least a, give me at least a fucking Vanez Matarosian or Brian Rose, nigga. Something. Before this. Oh, no, I just, I just told you. You could have put him in there with her and then see what happens. Yeah, the t- one of the, the two best 154 and prospects. You could have rematched Trout and um, you could have had another uh, Trout versus Jamel or, or somebody else against Jamel. But, you know, like, I don't know what happened. Tonight, it was just like he ducked right into him. Like, like he saw it and, and he exploited something right there and, um, uh, he walked right into it, basically. Man, that double over, man. that double jab that Charlo threw, man, you can tell that that shit was just a ploy. He he didn't even commit on the jab, fam. He was loading up on that right hand. It was a ploy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you whether that right hand was an uppercut or, or like a cross. That shit was a straight. Like an angle. That shit was and, a straight. But he looked at like a straight. He couldn't even tell you in the interview. So, yeah. <laughs> he just like, followed that nigga's head. That's all he did. Yeah, <laughs> and boom. Yep. And it, 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 it's something that he probably saw in film. Yeah. Because you know, like, and, and he tested it out probably a little right before that. So okay, this is what he's gonna do. So this is where he's gonna be, and boom, just unloaded on him. And the kid was like, like, like kind of twitching. Yeah, but man. That was him trying to get up, and he just couldn't. His body could like not body do could what his moved. head wanted him to do. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I'm like, oh, shit. So I, I started talking shit. And then I <laughs> calmed down. I felt bad for the kid. And yeah. then I talked some shit some more. Word up. But, Word up. But that was, uh, I think a lot of people were disappointed. They're still disappointed in that fight. Because to me, that was the main event. Yo, I had I had snacks ready for that fight, fam. Like, I didn't even go get my snacks yet. Nigga, I was like, yeah. You know, weekends I eat dirty and shit, you know, because, you know, Monday through Friday, I'm, you know, I care about my health and all that bullshit. So, but weekends is when I eat dirty, especially when we got fights. I eat dirty. You know what I'm saying? So, I was looking forward to this weekend. I was looking forward to that particular fight, and I had fucking snacks prepared for that fight. But I didn't even get a chance to go get them, nigga. It was like watching Mike Tyson on pay-per-view back in the early 90s. You know what I'm saying? Or or the late eighties. It's fucked up, that, man. That was, that was bad, man. Like, <laughs> I, I mean I called the KO. I didn't think it was gonna happen in the first round. But I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, what we saw here is that the Charlo brothers will probably become two of the most duck motherfuckers in boxing. I'm sorry, fam. Niggas not trying to see it- these niggas, bro. I think the time. I think the time people start taking them a little more serious. I know I will. And, um, I know I will. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like not- uh, they, they're they both brothers. They're having good showing up. The good showing. <clears throat> uh, I, I think what's more important is it seems like they get better each time out. Yeah. Like you know how some fighters they come out and they still kind of like look the same, but they keep winning. Yeah. Kind of like what Hurd is doing, but. These guys have gotten better and better and better. It's like they're working on their calf and they're hungry and they stay in the gym. Yep. So I guess that helps, man. Like we 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 need fighters like this and want it. Yes. And, um, yep. and they seem to be uh, like uh, welcome that villain persona. Yes, sir. Which, That's what I like the which, most. <laughs> which I like because I'm an asshole. Mm-hmm. So it's like fuck you. Exactly. And I think that's good for money. Money-wise, it's going to be good for their pocket. So, at the end of the day, pe- people, um, when they for real or not, uh, y'all better start believing, man, and uh, put some respect on that name. 
Because if not, it looks like they're going to take him. Because every time you say, let's fight 50-50, them niggas come out and just knock you the fuck out and say, good night, see you later. <laughs> War of life. Couldn't have said it any like, better myself. <laughs> like, fuck out of here with that bullshit. Yeah, that bro. Shit. That shit is bad. Yeah. Make it, I'm telling you, man, they... Yeah, they... they they make you look like a casual when you start well, like, look, breaking hold up. fight down, bro. Hold up. Not they, because Jamal, Charlo, and J-Rock, I had Jamal beating J-Rock. But Jamel? Yeah, you did. J- Jamel. Jamel, me and you never believed him. Like, he he kind of <laughs> like, whatever, he's the other Charlo. Yeah. yeah. I don't know when you used to say that shit. The little Charlo. Yeah. But he, well, these motherfuckers are identical twins, and we used to call him the little Charlo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. Like, so, so for me personally, like this is good to see. Like, I, I, I like kids, and I want to see him do well. Um, I guess Boom moved up to one sixty. So, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on with that, but he looks that way. So, well, he just beat Patrick. Fight, he beat Patrick Highland up there. So he, 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 he's standing there. He's standing there. Yeah, and he got Fox next week. So, yep. No, that's gonna be interesting. So, uh, we ain't gonna see that, but uh, I want uh, who, 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 what's next for him, Charlo? Like Lara, her, which one do you think is going? Man, to he could take. You know who I want, and this is funny. None of these niggas mention him. You know, and my boy was like, "Well, you know, he didn't mention him because of the the uh, the conflict of interest." But in my opinion, there is no conflict of interest, and that's Arislan De Lara. At first, you know, Jamel was getting trained by Ronnie Shields. And, uh, of course, Laura's getting trained by the same trainer, but he's not doing that anymore. He's over here in Dallas well, with Derek James. So they need to make that I fight. Know, they need to I make that. Your link, your link went out. So uh, you know who did mention him? Who? Laura. Oh, okay. Well, good. Lara, I'll, I'll, well, he got to fight, fight him. I mean, they're in the same camp. They, they, uh, they like each other. They're friends. But at the end of the day, it's a business. Well, I'm more so, I'm more so wanting Jermell to mention Laura than I mean Laura Laura's trying to get fights period so I, I want Jermell to mention Laura you see what I'm saying uh you want to yeah. you want to fight like that I want you to mention the best motherfucking division not the weakest champion you know what I'm saying well, that's what I want well yeah yeah like uh I think that would be the better fight anyway mm-hmm absolutely uh, I I think that that fight will be interesting because uh you know Laura's been knocked down a few you know, not Lara could be knocked down, so yeah, uh, and he could be caught sometimes. So, um, you know, he moves he moves like a motherfucker in there. So that could be an interesting fight uh, from a boxing standpoint. Yeah. I probably the better fight too. So I don't know. I I think that's the type of fight that's going to happen. Agreed. Hey, let me ask you a question. Where does your boy yeah. Canelo sit? <laughs> Where Canelo at and all of this, all of this 154 pound goodness we got, nigga. Where's Canelo at? <laughs> he got 160 with uh, Golovkin and shit. Right now. <laughs> so he right now. So he done with right 154. Now, <laughs> right now they they ain't even thinking that right. They might fuck around, move to 164. Yeah, I said 164, <laughs> but you know Canelo makes his own weight. Hell yeah. I'm They're telling like you, Charlo right there too, and, and Charlo uh, Canelo. I think that could be an interesting fight. Bro, I'm talking about your mom. Woo. And I don't know if you want that, so. So. Woo-wee. So I think I think this Golovkin fight is what probably happening because uh, Jamal moved up to 160, and at one point or another, even though people were asking when well, you gonna fight Golovkin, they were gonna ask when well, you gonna fight Charlo, when you gonna fight Charlo, so. You're going to fight the less, uh, you're going to take your chances with two of them. You might as well take your chance, you know, with the bigger name and the older guy, too, let's be real. Word up. So, uh, but I, I can't even not go looking no more because, you know, he fought, he fought Jacobs, fought Canelo. Well, he had yeah, to. The he, walls are closing in on him, but, fam. Yeah, so, so, like, that's all I ever wanted to see was just him fight the competition. I think you know, more of an idea of the type of fighter he is. Right. You know, so so it it, it man, I, I wish I don't know, man. One fifty four was like, okay, whatever and now all of a sudden tonight he's just like, uh uh, what's up? 
<laughs> yeah. Like, like we could have a few interesting fights there. Oh yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. I don't know. I don't think Canelo's going. For what for for what it sounds, man. Um, uh, Cinco de Mayo that weekend they're gonna have that Canelo Golovkin two, and they those two probably won't fight anybody else until then. So I agree. I agree. Yeah, the answer I was looking for was Canelo probably will permanently make his residence at 160 after tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's not trying to be pressured into fighting any of these guys who he would deem, him and De La Hoya would deem, are not on his level in terms of popularity. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. yeah. He That's doesn't want to be... 164. Right. Eventually, you're going to Charles at 160. Right. <laughs> 164. Right. <laughs> Like, yeah, well, uh, I'll just move up here and uh, I'm going to find me another Chavez Jr. from Mexico or something that's like 41 and 0 against 30 cab drivers and 10 bus drivers and and, and one Uber driver and shit. Yep. And, 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 <laughs> and I don't know. You know, man, you know how I feel about Golden Boy no and doubt. the way they fucking do shit. No so, doubt. Like, we just saw a whack ass car with a, a fucking, uh, what's the boy name that was on there? Uh, God damn. Uh, on the uh no nah, on the Canelo Golovkin undercard. Oh yeah. Uh, oh uh, with Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diego De La Hoya and shit and and I think Joe is yeah. jo- Jojo Diaz with them? With Golden Boy? Yeah. 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 So, so it's like people were making that they were hyping up that fight. You know, I'm like, yo, I just wanna point out that the undercard sucks. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> Like, I'm not buying this shit. Because exactly. normally, like, I watch everything on the stream, but sometimes just to support the sport, I fuck around by a fight. Yep. But uh, I wasn't buying that shit because I looked at the other car and I was like, uh, nah, fuck you. Like, the Mayweather, uh, my, my Nugget uh, Circus was fucking, had a better on the car than that shit. And I'm like, you, you gotta be kidding me. And I, I wasn't buying that shit because I only watched the other card on that shit. So yeah. I wasn't buying that shit either. So I'm like, fuck that. Um, yeah. yeah, man, I, I would love to see Canelo against one of the Charlos. I don't think Mexico wants to see it. I don't think the West Coast wants to see it. And boxing, <laughs> the majority the boxing of the boxing fans not going to want to call for that because the majority of boxing fans are casuals, dog. So they're not going to call for that. They're casuals and fanboys, and Canelo fanboys are not going to call for a Charlo fight. They already know what's up with that. So, but um, let me let me end this topic with this statement. Uh, Erickson Lubin, my brother. While, <laughs> while we, you know, we uh, hope you, you're doing okay. Nigga, you just corroborated the idea that all these niggas have out there and reminded them why they duck fighters, fam. <laughs> Real talk, bro. You just reminded why Carl Frampton ducked Guillermo Rigondeaux and Leo Santa Cruz, right? You just yeah. reminded why Keith Thurman is ducking the shit at an Errol Spence. You know what you I'm saying? That? What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Word up. You just reminded why Canelo ducked Demetrius Andre, when Demetrius Andre was WBO champion, Canelo was his mandatory. You just reminded everybody why they duck fighters. Because what happened to you tonight could have easily happened to them. And they not trying to have that happen to them. But I do commend you, my brother, for taking this fight. Because everyone thought you were too green and it ended up being the situation. But you still went in there and held your head up high and took the fight. So you need to do the same thing in defeat and make a comeback. You're only 22 years old, man. The world is not over yet. All right, That's let's right. move on. You did your thing for about two and a half minutes. Yeah, he did. He didn't look bad. He didn't look bad at all. He just... He, he ducked. He, he, yeah, he made... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ducked. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No pun intended. In a straight line. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> While remaining in the same position. Exactly. In a straight line. I mean... Exactly. Easy, easy pickings. Yep. That's so. all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man's already mentioned what uh, Arislandi Laura said at the end of his abysmal, terrible, ridiculously boring ass fight. I still watched as much as I could, but even the host of the motherfucking link said, "Man, fuck this fight, man!" And my link cut out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even, 
I didn't even decide to even look for another link. I just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? I already know. I already got enough ammunition, you know, to talk about Arizona Lauren, and I can see the direction this fight is headed. He already mentioned that he called out Jermel Charlo, which is the right thing to do when you put up a performance like this against a guy that everybody thought you should have murdered, but you only dropped him one time, and then the fight actually went to a decision. You know what I'm saying? Um, so he's going to call out the guy that had the best performance on this particular card. Um, and I hope he's, he stays true to that. I hope Jamel Charlo gives him the fight. But I actually hope Arislan Laura actually tries to make that fucking fight. Because at this point, man, Laura's got to do something. I mean, you got uh, Yuri Foreman, Jan Zavek, you know what I'm saying, Terrell Gausha. Now, I understand Laura's one of the most duck fighters in the sport. Everybody should know this anyway. Uh, but the whole debacle with Demetrius Andre, that fight not getting made, but y'all niggas been talking so much shit for a long time. You know, Laura having the Twitter fingers talking shit about Golovkin. Yeah, nigga, I'm going to move up to 160 pretty soon, but you didn't end up moving. And another motherfucker that wasn't even on the radar, and Jamal Charlo, ended up moving before you did. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of shit swirling around Arislan Laura that's, uh, getting to the point where he's losing his fan base. Motherfuckers is booing in the crowd in this fight. They were chanting, this is boring. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. Shit felt like the rest of them, nigga. Yeah. We can't have that, bro. We can't have that. It was, it was almost like the UK niggas flew over here and did they chants. You know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like. We can't have that, dog. If Laura's going to be the best 154-pound fighter. So, <clears throat> from this point on, man, Laura's going to have to get some big fights made. We can't have any more Yuri Formans and Jan Zavex and Terrell Gashas. Not at this point, dog. You need the Jamel Charlos, the, the Demetrius Andrades. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think your best fight in your last six fights was a fucking rematch with Vanez Matarosian. I'm not looking at box rec right now, but I believe that's your best fight in your last five or six fights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we can't yeah, have that, bro. For that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, he, uh, you know what the problem with him, too, is? He, he's not fan-friendly. No. He he doesn't, uh, I gotta say, he doesn't take the bull by the horn, either. So it's like, you got tonight, for example. And, you know, I love science, but when I see, like, a complete mismatch, <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, my man, like, you could just turn off the, you know, like, you could just turn it up a little bit, and you'll get this motherfucker out of there. Yeah, man. And then you get the people what they want. And once you get the people what they want, they're they going to start demanding shit for you. Yep. Once you got a little buzz, you get the fights. But yep. he's not even doing that. He just resourced to the same old routine, man. And eventually, that's going to catch up to him. He caught up to him in the Canelo fight. I think... Uh, you know, and yeah, has he been ducked? Yeah, but at the same time, man, he's not like forcing his way in either. Like he just, I don't know. Tonight was just like, okay, uh, when is this shit gonna end so I can just finally get? I've been watching this box since like fucking two p.m. So it's like, when is shit gonna end? Like so I can just get the shit done and over with. So it's like, <clears throat> come on, man. Yeah. But this guy, this guy's a fucking clown. Like, like he needs to. Like fight somebody already because I I I've been a, I used to be a real big defender of him and like I stopped. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah, got I to. No well, he's forced your hand. Like, he's forced your like, hand. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck you. Like that's yeah. how I be now, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm like for real. Like how the hell can you? I don't know, man. I don't know how to describe it, but I guess the best way is like. Tonight, I felt like that fight should have, like, not even gone the distance. Nah, like, man. Before your link cut out, that shit should have been over already. Like, yeah. You got to knock this dude out, man. He he has no pedigree as a professional. He was a well-respected amateur. Like I mentioned in my prediction video, he beat Jesse Hart twice as an amateur. But that's amateurs. As a professional, he has done nothing. He hasn't even seen one-fifth of your skill in the ring. Uh, compared to the guys he's fought as a professional. You should have knocked this motherfucker smooth clean out. And you can see in the in the ring, Arislandi Laura was comfortable just setting him up with the one-two. He would throw the one-two. He would jab, 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 throw the straight left. 
and then he wait for yeah. Terrell Gasha to respond. What the fuck, nigga? Attack! <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? So I don't know. He could have done like a six, seven, you know, combination or some yeah. things. Like he could just strung so many punches together. Yeah. And like you see it, like you're watching the fight and you see it yourself. Like you're like even a casual could see it. Like okay, okay, instead of stepping straight back and waiting on him. How about you step to the side and just punch? Exactly. Pop him a few times or yep. something. But no, he don't. He just um, he wants to like for, he wants to be like almost like he forces it to be like I want to be the counter puncher no matter what. You're fighting a fucking counter puncher, and you know their styles didn't match at all. I mean, it was just a it was a bad fight from the beginning and um. Uh, he didn't press the action. I just feel like you. He has. He had the op- obligation to just step it up a little more. The way the way the fights went down in, or in the earlier cards, I understand he probably wasn't paying much attention to that. But you know, you still have the little monitor right there in your dressing room, so you can see what's going on. And um, the way those fights were fought, like like the fans deserved a better ending than than what they got tonight, man. In my opinion, even though they got a good card, it was a, it was a good night for boxing. Well, but, uh, that that you know, like he could have done more. That main event definitely puts a stain on the card. You know, prior to this, that shit, that shit should have been the first fight. Yeah, and 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 to be honest with you, I thought it was the first fight, nigga. When I was looking up the times for this shit, I was putting in you know a uh, date time for Charlo Lubin, and the shit wouldn't pop up. So I put in I put in date time for her Trout didn't pop up. So I said, okay, date time for Laura Gasha popped up. <laughs> so, he was the main event. Huh? And he was the main event. I know. Um, I know. And you know what? I think he had the weakest fight. <laughs> we knew that going like, in, though. Like, we knew uh, that going in. Opponent. But we knew that going in. We knew that going in that this was the weakest matchup. Well, well, we didn't even talk about this fight, really. And like, that's why. You really entertain this fight? Like, <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's why. Like, <laughs> like Bernard's a Lara fan and and like even like look at the shit he be posting. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> everybody tired of him, bro. Yeah. Like enough is enough, man. Like excuses, excuses. Like yeah. uh, right now you can fight one two of these guys, uh her wants to fight Lara from what it sounds like. So Man. I guess a lot of people want Lara. I don't Either know. or. It doesn't matter. As long as he's getting one of the top motherfuckers in the division. No more, like I said, Jans of X. We need the top motherfuckers in the division. You can fight either one of those guys. but take Or move up. Or move up. Either or. Which, you know, I think that would be a second decision. When you got niggas wanting to fight you, but if you if you're trying to make these fights and you're in negotiations and these niggas are just too fucking ridiculous to get a fight made, then move up. Straight up. But yeah. I'm, I'm tired of it, man. I, I feel you on that. I'm I'm fucking tired of it, man. Laura, you gotta do better. You gotta do better. I'm sorry, bro. bro. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Word up. Word up. I hear this shit. He curses out like uh, these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Man, I want to thank my man Wilson, man, for great boxing talk. This was an excellent breakdown, man. One of the better. Uh, breakdown recaps that I've had um, Probably on this channel man So big ups to my man Wilson for joining me tonight um, YouTube Do what you do in the comments section will be real This is real talk for real fans One